Hi guys, this video will help you get set up with um, your MidiNet VM to complete lab 3. Um, as mentioned in the class, a bunch of you guys had difficulty connecting or S, uh, creating an SSH connection into your VM using VirtualBox. Um, I had the same problem and um, I, I looked into this a little bit and basically it's a long-standing issue with VirtualBox where on some systems, um, some versions, you can't create this end-to-end -end connection. A few of you were able to do it. I was able to get the DHCP client to run, but then I could never get the network to work in the end. So the workaround will be to switch to VMware instead. And this video will help you set up the environment so that you can get a working version of Wireshark on your VM to complete the lab. So um, the first thing that you will do is download MediNet VM. Um, which is here, just click on it, it's kind of big, it will go into your downloads and um, uh, that's the first step. The next step is instead of VirtualBox, we will set up VMware. So you can go to VMware.com and then here click on Products and scroll down to Workstation for Windows, Mac or Linux um, and um, download it over here, install it, you get a 30-day trial, which will be enough for um, this assignment. Okay? Um, once you have it installed, you run it, then you get this view, you click on Open Virtual Machine, okay? and now you scroll to wherever you downloaded um, your mini-net, hopefully, so let me show you my um, download folder. Okay, and so we have our zip mini net, I unzip it, and then um, here's our virtual machine, okay, quite large. So um, I uh, open a new virtual machine, scroll to that folder, click on that, open, it's going to import the virtual machine, this takes a little bit of time. So I've done that already. You get mini net over here, um, and basically this view. So the next thing we're going to do is to set up our network interfaces. So I click on Edit, Virtual Machine. Um, I up my memory to 2 gigabytes. That just makes it run a little bit faster. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is say Add. And here go to Network Adapter. Okay. Click Next. And click on Host Only. Okay. Click Finish. I already have that set up. And that's going to be the network adapter number two. So we have number one, which is the NAT, and that gives you the ability to access um, the rest of the internet. Um, and then um, the adapter two is host only, which will allow you to SSH into your virtual machine through your, uh, from your machine. Okay, click OK, and now we can start Medinet. Okay, we have Medinet running. Um, I log in. Okay, good. So now we can do IF config to see what interfaces are available. We have Ethernet 0. Um, so to see Ethernet 1, we say EF config A. Okay, um, it is not set up correctly yet, it doesn't have an IP address. So there are two methods for setting this up. The first one requires a little bit more typing, but it will give you a static IP address, um, which is what you want to connect with through PuTTY. So, what you're going to do is go sudo uh, vim or your favorite text editor etc network interfaces. Okay, click on that. Originally, this file um, ends here, um, basically where the cursor ends, which sets up Ethernet zero. Now, what we want to do is to set up a static IP address for um, Ethernet one, which in my case is going to be uh, basically, you need this text and you need to give it an IP address that starts with 192.168.153 um, and then you can pick a number over here. Okay, we save it. Um, okay. Um, okay, and that's great. So, if you, where did I get that IP address? So, if I looked at IF config, um, and basically, you can see the IP address for um, your machine over here, which has a different IP, different net mask over here, um, or different network portion. So, 
One way to get that static IP address is basically using the HTTP. So you can say sudo, uh, sorry, you can say sudo um, dh client and then um, set up for Ethernet 1. Okay? You can do that right off the bat even without changing um, that file. And what's that going to give you? Takes a moment, okay? What that will give you is um, a view of your network um, with that Ethernet 1 um, interface setup. So DHCP gives us 192.168.153.129. Um, now, what you can do is you grab that IP address, okay, and you go back to that file that we edited before, okay, and you can basically use that IP address over here to always assign this address. So, once you do that, you don't have to do the HCP client. What you do instead is What you do instead is you say sudo um, if up eth1. Okay. Um, right now this will fail because we already set up that IP address uh, through DHCP, so this will just give us an error. But what you once you set up this file over here um, with the static IP address, the next time you log into Mininet. Um, I'll show you that in a second. You can basically use that if up command and you're always going to get the same IP address. So I will shut down R uh, now and I need to run it as sudo. Again, again, okay, and again, I have config just gives me th0, and now what I can do is say sudo if interface up, and I bring up eth1. Now it works correctly, and if I run I have config, I get the IP address um, that I that I assigned to it before. So. To sum this up, because this got a little confusing. Okay, first time I log into um, Mininet, what I'm going to do is do um, sudo dh client um, eth1. That will use the DHCP server to give me the IP address for my eth1 interface. Okay, I can then see that using ifconfig. Okay, and then I grab the IP address from over here and I take it to sudo.eth slash eth network interface. Uh, sorry, we need an editor here. Vim. Okay. And I enter that IP address over here. Then I log out. And next time I log in, I can just do sudo if up eth1 and now the IP address that I have configured in this file will be assigned to ETH1. In the end, you end up with um, an IP address over here. And now we're going to SSH into this. So, um, what you need is Xming, which you basically Google, just Google for it, um, click on here, download it, install it, and then run it. And I already have it running down here um, in this icon. Okay, so Xming is running and is watching for X11 packets. Then I need to get to PuTTY. So again, you can Google for PuTTY, go to PuTTY.org, you download it, install it, and now we have, um, now we start PuTTY. What PuTTY will give you is an option to set up your um, connection. So what you need to enter here is your Mininet login name and then the IP address that you have chosen for your connection. Um, you can also name that session and then you need to go to SSH, X11 and make sure that enable X forwarding is checked. Go back to session 
and then you can say save and now you're gonna have this saved session over here you open it and you give it the Mininet password and you are in okay and now you basically can run Wireshark okay and as Wireshark starts the, the GUI of it gets picked up by Xming which you can see over here it fired up and now you have a running version of Wireshark and you can complete the rest of the lab um, please let me know if you have any more questions how to set this up um, hopefully this wasn't too convoluted for you guys and good luck on the lab